Hi, I'm Matt from Freeform Fabrication, product specialist here uh, with the Laser Welders and I'm going to cover today how to get the vision just perfect on your Dado Laser Welder. So the first thing we want to check is that the scope is screwed on straight. So as much as possible, get that screwed on so it's nice and um, aligned with the rest of the Dado. You want to start with your eyepieces on the level here. So you can see on the side here that that black line lines up with that center point with a plus and minus either side. Next thing we want to check is if you can see on here, these uh, rubber pieces come off. We want to make sure that they're the, the same way round on the machine because what, what will happen if they're not is that one eye will be further away from the eyepiece um, compared to the other one, which will make it really blurred and really difficult to, to see down there properly. The next thing we want to see is that we can see the crosshair. So the crosshair is only in this right-hand lens. We want to see that we can, firstly, we want to check that we can see that properly. So look down and just check, you can see a crosshair. And if you're sort of not seeing it clearly, or you're seeing it only sort of at certain times, the key part and the really important part that most people, not most people, some people miss when trying to set up their dado, these adjust in and out. Everyone's eyes are different. Everyone's eyes are different distances apart. So you need to find that distance. So have a look down and move them in and out until you're seeing you're, both eyes are nice and clearly open and that you're looking down and you can see that cross really, really clearly. So another important point is how to look down the scope. So what you don't want to be doing is doing like this and looking straight on at the scope because you'll just get black. What you need, ideally in a adjustable chair, and you want to look down the scope because there you'll get really nice clear vision. What you can also do is not put your eyes right into the machine like this because your eyes, almost eyelids and stuff will get in the way. It's comfortable working, so you wanna come back a little bit and that will help you see down there a little bit clearer. When you first start using the laser, key point to remember is the scope and the laser are focused on the same level at the same point. So if you're looking down the scope and it's, you've got it lined up but it's slightly hazy, best thing to do is bring that piece slightly up or down until it's then perfectly in focus. Again, just because the scope and the laser are focused on the same point, so that's where the laser is going to fire at its strongest and where you're going to see it the most clear. So most people will be able to use the Dado from that point, um, but what you can do is really fine tune your mic scope. So what you can do is you don't need a, so we've got a stage here that can lift up and down. Um, you don't necessarily need this to stack a few things inside the chamber if you need to. So what I'm gonna do is use this stage to bring something as close, as perfect into focus as it can be. So that for me is about spot on. Now what I can do is close my left eye and I can move this plus or minus slightly to adjust it perfectly to each eye. When doing this though, the key part is to not twist it all the way around because otherwise your eyes will be so completely different that you won't be able to use it properly. The level of one eyepiece to the next will be completely out. So start from the, the center and just small, close your left eye, small adjustments to do the right, the right one. The crosshair will spin, but that's, that's normal. Then close your right eye and adjust the left eye piece until the, the piece on the, on the stage becomes really picture perfect into focus. Once you've done that, it should be perfectly focused to each eye. So now you should be able to see nice and clearly through your microscope for your Dado laser welder. If you follow those steps and you're still having trouble, don't hesitate, please get in touch, we're happy to help.